the garden of the house of Lucy. As it was uh, very hot in summer, so they have a rest here. It's the, the well where they got water and they were resting with the sheep. And unexpectedly, the angel appears a second time. And the children were again playing. And it's very interesting what the angel said. <coughs> Summer in Portugal is always very hot. And during noon time, everybody takes rest. It's like just at this moment now. So the children often spend that time close to the well here in the garden of Lucy's home to play in the shadow of the trees, like now. And there the angel surprised them a second time, saying, What are you doing? Pray, pray very much. The holy hearts of Jesus and Mary have designs of mercy on you. Offer prayers and sacrifices constantly to the Most High. And Lucy asked, this is the first time by the way that Lucy speaks, and she asked, how are we to make sacrifices? And the angel answers, Make of everything you can a sacrifice and offer it to God as an act of reparation for the sins by which he is offended and in supplication for the conversion of sinners. You will thus draw down peace upon your country. I am its angel guardian, the angel of Portugal. Above all, accept and bear with submission the suffering which the Lord will send you. So it is very much said in these short words again. I just want to attract your attention on several things. First of all, the angel says something very important. He, he, he appeals us, he tells to us, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is very important that we hear this word. From time to time, we, we ask ourselves, uh, we turn our th thoughts on thousand things, and suddenly we hear a voice of our conscience, what are you doing? And then the second thing is, the holy hearts of Jesus and Mary. Three times the angel speaks about the hearts of Jesus and Mary. It's incredible. On the 9th of August, when Our Lady appeared here in the Balinios, we celebrate the feast of St. John Eudes, who was the great saint to receive incredible graces about, our, our, about the united hearts of Jesus and the heart of Mary. And here the angel in each of the apparitions says about that. She speaks about that. The first apparition he says, the heart of Jesus and Mary. The second apparition he says, the holy hearts of Jesus and Mary. And the third apparition, he will say, the most sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary. So in this way, the angel teaches, teaches the children to have their eyes constantly concentrated on the hearts of Jesus and Mary. These hearts of Jesus, they have designs of mercy on, on you. Remember what he said in the first apparition, they are attentive. To the voice of your supplication and now he says they have designs of mercy on you and therefore we have to offer constantly our prayers and sacrifices to the most high now the holy hearts of jesus and mary it is in fact that what we have received for the latter times the heart you know very well the heart is that what is the most important in our life it is the seat of our love. 
I love you with all my heart. I love you with all my soul. Oh my God. This is what we ask when we, we want to express the depths. And now the heart of Jesus is full of mercy. You know what means the signs of mercy? Mercy means that we are poor sinners. Mercy sees the heart of God who looks to our misery, unworthiness. These hearts, the sacred heart of Jesus, who appeared to St. Margaret Marie Alakov, and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, who will appear on the 13th of June here in Fatima. These hearts are full of all graces ever received in the world. And these graces, these graces, this design of mercy, God, through Mary, wants to give us. But there is one condition. Wake up and pray. What are you doing? When the great prophet Elias he was surprised by God and God appeared to him on the Mount Horeb and said, What are you doing, Elias? The angel interrupts the children in playing. The inter angel interrupts you in daydreaming. The angel interrupts you in your being afraid about the future. The angel interrupts you when you are thinking about the others full of anger or full of I don't know what kind of stupid thoughts. The angel interrupts you and asks you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Pray, pray much. The masters of spiritual life, my friends, invite us to ask ourselves often, what are we doing right now? They want to emphasize that the present moment is the most important in our lives. Now, now you live. Now, not yesterday, not tomorrow. Now we can please God or offend God, use our times, waste our time. So let us hear the voice of the angel of Fatima here at this place, when he appeared, maybe probably also in August, and silently asks you from here the same thing. What are you doing right now? Do you fulfill the will of God right now? Are you doing something which helps you on the way to heaven? Or are you wasting your time? So, and what is important in our life? You see what the angel says at the answer? What are you doing? How shall we make sacrifices? All, all you can do. You know, even the banal nothings should become occasions to show our love to God. You know very well, it is very difficult to make big sacrifices. But we can make from everything a sacrifice. Even walking, even being thirsty, even our little headaches, even our little sorrows, even our little uh, insomnies we cannot sleep in the night. All, everything, even eating, drinking, resting, even, even playing with one another, even a little smile, everything we can just give to our Lord. Just a gesture of, oh, that's all for you, all for you, offer it. Our movements, work, rest, day, night, all the small trials and difficulties, the circumstances of our life can be transformed, transformed to an incredible greatness and value. Remember what St. Thomas Aquinas teaches us. One act of love towards God is worth more than the whole natural cosmos. And that is exactly what will, will make Francisco and Jacinta saints after two years of life in the world. Look, my friends, here on the second apparition, the angel teaches you that your banal, common, modest, insignificant daily life could change and become a source of salvation of many souls and of your own holiness if you answer more generously the angel's requests. And what he says, pray, pray a lot especially these small ejaculatory prayers. Jesus, Mary, I love you, save souls, sweet heart of Mary, be my salvation. And finally he says, above all, accept and bear with submissions the sufferings which the Lord will send you. Just accept it. You will have them anyway. You will anyway have to suffer. Anyway you have your trials. And just accept them with submission and offer them. I have it. So I will give it to you, my Lord. I will not grumble. I will not get despair. I give it. 
And this is the act of sacrifice. Look, the angel says some words and he moves the world. He changed the world with that. He changed our life. This is what we have to learn. Look, in these places, I just recall you what the angel said 101 years ago. But that, that we are here, this place, and pray in silence and ask for this grace, that's not the work of a little teaching or a little sermon or a little word. It is the angel is heaven it's himself, God himself through the angel who will accomplish this great, great transformation and changing of our souls if we open ourselves now. So this is the second apparition of the angel. Each apparition has its great significance. Afterwards we'll now pray in silence a little bit and afterwards we'll return. It's already, a a little, uh, we are a little bit late. So on the way back you can visit, we can visit the house of Lucy, there is always a great line and afterwards going back to the, we will go back on the other way to, the, um, uh, to Fatima, to our hotel and then we will pass also by the house of Jacinta and Francisco and at that place by the way Francisco died and the, die, the death of a holy man of a holy of the saint is always a holy place so when we maybe have the chance to enter this it will be difficult because of so many people therefore I don't know what happens there so many people we get certainly a bit lost here we are together so let us now pray one decade of the rosary asking for all these graces the angel or God through the angel our lady through the angel wants to give us <laughs> 